Enrollment with GST is a simple two-stage process consisting of Part A and Part B of the registration application. This video will introduce you to Part A of the registration application. To begin, access the GST website www.gst.gov.in. From the home page, open the Services menu, click the Registration category and select New Registration option. Note that the fields marked with a red color dot are mandatory fields. Select New Registration and GST Practitioner. Provide your basic information, including the permanent account number, PAN. Make sure to enter a valid email address and Indian mobile phone number since the GST portal will communicate one-time passwords, OTPs and notifications at this address and mobile phone number. Clicking Proceed will send two different OTPs on your mobile and email address. On the next page, enter the OTP received in the email in the email OTP field and the one received on mobile phone number in the mobile OTP field and click Proceed. This will complete Part A of the Enrollment application and will generate a temporary reference number TRN. Note down this TRN to fill the Part B of the Enrollment application. Click Proceed. Enter the TRN that was generated on submitting Part A of the registration application. Enter the CAPTCHA as usual and click Proceed. This will trigger an OTP. Enter the OTP received and proceed further. Notice the status of the registration application shows as Draft. Go ahead and click the Edit icon. Part B has four sections, with each section containing multiple fields that need to be filled up. Make sure to fill out all the mandatory fields, otherwise you will not be able to complete Part B. You get 15 days to fill and submit this application. In the General Details section, provide your basic qualification details. Begin by selecting if you want to register under the Central or State or Union Territory Enrolling Authority. Based on the selection, the application will be sent to corresponding approving authority. You can enroll as GST practitioner only if you hold one of the desired qualification or if you are a retired government officer. Select the university or institute, year of passing and qualifying degree for enrollment as a GST practitioner. In case of CA or CS or CMA, enter the membership details including membership type, number and date. Upload a document supporting your qualification or proof of you being a retired government officer. Make sure the document is in PDF or JPEG format and of size up to 100 KB. Click Save and Continue to save this information. Notice the General Details section's color has now changed to blue and also has a tick on it indicating the section is filled. You can now navigate to any section of the application and start filling the application. In the Applicant Details section, 
enter the personal information like name, date of birth, father's name, gender, permanent account number, PAN, Aadhaar and landline number. Notice the mobile phone number and email address are pre-filled as entered in the part A of the application. Next, upload the photograph. Make sure the photograph is in JPEG format and size is less than 100 KB. Click the Save and Continue button. The next section allows entering the professional address. Provide professional address with PIN code and upload necessary proof of address. Make sure the document is in PDF or JPEG format and size is less than 1 MB. In case the professional address is neither on rent nor on premise, select the consent letter option and upload a no objection certificate NOC from the owner of the premises. Once done, verify the application. You can submit the application using PAN-based Class 2 or 3 Digital Signature Certificate, DSC, but before submitting the application using DSC, the DSC needs to be registered using the Register DSC service on the portal. Alternatively, the application can be submitted using the e-sign or electronic verification code EVC option. Both these services are Aadhaar based service and require you to have the mobile phone number registered with the Aadhaar database handy. In case of EVC, you will need to enter the OTP for authentication. Agree to the warning message, which says that all your furnished information is subject to verification and scrutiny. Upon successfully submitting Part B of the registration application, an acknowledgement reference number ARN will be sent on your mobile phone number and email address. It's that simple.